Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Melissa Estevillo and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist here at Biltmore Psychology and Counseling. Welcome to our video blog. For the month of March, we're talking about like general types of counseling questions, things that people have and typically we'll call in and ask our receptionist and our office manager um, when they're booking an appointment. Um, as always, we'd love for you to subscribe for future content like this and feel free to leave any more questions in the comments below. The last question that we got from someone is actually a question that we get all the time. Um, what's the difference between a licensed therapist or counselor, a psychologist, and a psychiatrist? So the most simple answer is the main differences here are the types of training that people have. So a licensed therapist or counselor typically has their master's degree and they can have their master's degree in social work or in marriage and family therapy or their um, master's degree in counseling. So they're a licensed professional counselor. And so typically they are licensed at the master's level um, and that's what makes them a licensed therapist or counselor when you hear that word, that's the most typical. Um, for a psychologist, they typically go to grad school and they get their doctorate degree. So they get a PhD or something called a society, a psychology doctorate. Um, and then they do some advanced training beyond that to get licensed at that level. A lot of psychologists, they're doing assessments and other kinds of things. And then there's a group of them like myself that actually specialize in doing counseling. So for a psychologist that's in a counseling setting and a counselor that's in a private practice counseling setting, in many ways they're functionally doing very, very similar kinds of work. Um, that is a fairly big difference though between a psychiatrist which is someone that went to medical school, so they did four years of, of medical school, and then did their residency in psychiatry. And one of the big things I like to differentiate is there are some states that allow psychologists to prescribe medication, and there are some psychiatrists that do counseling, but by and large, these are very separate. So most psychologists will only do like a counseling talk type of therapy in an office setting, and then a psychiatrist is gonna do medication management. And that's something where a lot of people are surprised going, I saw a psychiatrist, he talked to me for a little while, and then I was doing a 15 minute med check, and we never talked about my life. And it's like, sure, I can see where that's distressing, but that's really because what you're looking for then is a psychologist to be able to process through. And if you're looking for some specific kinds of medication features to be able to help overcome depression, anxiety, then the psychiatrist is the person for you to turn to. So again, I hope that clarifies really briefly some of the main differences between those groups. Um, and like I said, feel free to shoot us over more questions if any of that's confusing or you need more clarification. Thanks again.